Sagittarius. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the support, the likes, comments. I appreciate every one of you. If you're new, thank you for coming to my channel. And if you're returning, thank you so much. So this is going to be dated for the 9th of September to the 15th. But it really um, is, time is fluid. So whenever you come across it is probably when it's meant for you. I just need to keep track of them sometime, though, somehow the weeks. So the first card for you, Sagittarius, is New Beginnings, number one. Look at this. Beautiful. So I do feel like something's shifting that's going to make you happy. New Beginnings can indicate a new job. This can indicate a new baby, a move. So something new that's going to make you very happy um, and it's going to bring something to your life for a while is going to come in. So you have 44, which is a master number. If you add that number, it would be 8. But this is truth, jackal, Anubis. So this talks about a new beginning around something around truth in your life. Very explosive situation. So the next one is change 33. So you had 44, which is 8, and then 33, which is 6. So there's a very big change coming into your life concerning truth, something around truth. And you have new beginnings, so you have double confirmation about a big change. So be careful, maybe somebody is not going to be truthful with you about a change. So I don't know if you're moving and somebody's not being honest about a rental. Intuition. So you have intuition about somebody wearing a mask. So we have two cards here, this one and this one, talking about somebody not being honest with you. So there is some sort of, um, you have a new beginning, which is going to be really beautiful for you and a change, but you have intuition around somebody who's not for your highest good. And I do feel like it could be three people because we see the three here and the three here. So there could be three people around you who are not supportive of you. That's what I feel, intuition. Because there's like fire energy, like mad over here, and then the fire energy, like something happened and you're very focused on it. I don't know if you, there's like two different sides and everybody sees things from a different side. So the first one from the tarot deck is four of fire. So four of fire is truth around a marriage situation. Long-term commitment. Eight of earth. Eight of earth is somebody making a change to help um, teach somebody something. So this is a change of teaching other people's a skill, other people a skill, teaching them something to where they want to learn from you. The next one is Ace of C. This is true love. So do you have some sort of intuition around true love? Because it's in front of the intuition card. So death and ending. So there's an ending around a marriage and truth. So I don't know if you, some of you are getting divorced or you got divorced and some truth is coming out that you didn't know, Earth Queen. So Earth Queen is somebody very opinionated, very rigid. I feel like this person is older than you, very matter-of-factly. Um, yeah. The next one is the Emperor. So the Emperor is Aries placement. So you could be having Aries interested in you. This person seems to be self-employed, a boss. Um, they seem to hold themselves at a very high regard. Maybe this is the person where you're getting the intuition because I am seeing a little bit of similarity there that this could be the person you're picking up um, the truth on. So seeking. Seeking is somebody who loves you and watches you, but they do not communicate with you. Then you have the tower moment. So I do feel like there could be a tower moment around this fire, this Earth Queen. The Earth Queen could cause a tower moment around learning or teaching, something not being what she wants. Sky Queen, you have a lot of people watching you. This is just really weird. I mean, you do. It's amazing. You have a lot of different people watching you for some reason. And they're, it seems like they're not being obvious to you that they're watching you. 
So after the tower moment, somebody's watching you even more for some reason is what I'm seeing. So there was a tower moment. A male, feel free to vice versa where it applies to you. A male watched it happen and a female is watching you now. So I don't know what the heck is going on. Six of C. So six of C is a lot of crying, a lot of tears around a truth. Children maybe being involved. And then we have ten of earth. Ten of earth to me is an ending. An ending to where people went to a house and they celebrated. They all watched TV together. They ate meals together. They watched movies together. Everybody felt comfortable. I feel like there has been a change and an ending to that. So for some reason, there has been distrust and that has ended. So then we have Sky Tom. So then another person just reaching out, being spiteful, hurtful. So yeah, I don't know how all these energies got around you for this who would apply to. I don't know if it's where you live. So I'm going to switch to the tarot um, Illuminati. So I do see you could be seeing a pattern and you're asking the universe why this is happening again is what I'm feeling. That you feel like you've stayed on your path and done what you're supposed to do so you don't understand how all this conflict and these people came at you. So the first one of the Tarot Illuminati is the Star card. This is beautiful. So this is wish fulfillment, dreams coming true talking about people seeing you um, accomplish something, a goal. This could talk about a lie around a lie around something. This is a lie around a wish. I don't know if it's your wish or somebody else's wish. I'm almost getting there's a lie around somebody else's wish if that makes sense. So the next one is Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles is talking about somebody who um, is very secure, very stable in her coins. She's very, very, she's more work orientated, orientated than love orientated. Let's put it that way. This person is very, um, so maybe there's some sort of goal you accomplished around money. You had some goal where like, oh, I want to make a million dollars by the time I'm 32 or something. And some of you accomplished it, I feel. So Ace of Wands is somebody reaching out, wanting to... Um, be close to you. This is usually an attraction. Um, yeah, flirty card. And the next one is Six of Wands. So Six of Wands, again, is victory and success and some sort of wish is what I'm seeing. And then you have Ten of Cups. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is happiness. This is being to your happy place, things working out to your favor, you knowing that they will and then Five of Pentacles. There's somebody you are ghosting in the situation. Whatever process you're going through, there's somebody you're blocking that's trying to get in towards you. The next one is Justice Balance. So I don't know if there's legal people involved in this, like a lawyer, but this says this is going to balance out. This could be a Libra. And the next one is Three of Swords. So Three of Swords, ouch, is clarifying balance around a third party situation. So it just seems like there was a marriage and somebody broke up a marriage being untruthful and bringing a third party situation into this marriage. And somebody may have had intuition about this happening, but somebody wants a new beginning out of the situation is what I feel. So the next one is the Devil. Wow, this is harsh. This is Capricorn energy. It could be addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex addictions. It could be a lot of things. So there's going to be justice and balance around a third party situation and addictions. It's going to balance out. Next one is Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is honesty. This is something balancing out. The honesty is going to override anything that wasn't honest. Seven of Cups. Somebody seems confused. Somebody wanted somebody to be confused about a, a 
third party situation. So somebody purposely tried to manipulate somebody and keep them confused, but I feel like somebody's going to come clean about it, or you're finding out the truth about it. And the next one is judgment. Ouch. So judgment talks about somebody making a call on toxic energy, addictions, um, a lot of negative energy. Somebody is going to make a call. If it's not you, it's going to be the universe, which means they're going to force a change. They're going to force somebody's hand in the situation, if not everybody's hand in the situation. So let's see what comes up with the Dragon Wisdom for you. And you have scars. Wow. So this is really harsh and left a lot of scars, whatever this pertains to. It tells me you're healing, though, because it's purple. Dragon, you're healing from that. Revelation, very powerful. So you have learned something. Something from everything that these cards are talking about. You have made some sort of revelation. I feel like about yourself. That you're like, wow, I can't believe this. I... I didn't notice this about myself all this time, and I just come to, to make myself aware of it. So that's what I feel. And the next one is Ocean. Wow, beautiful. So Ocean is the wisest dragon. He has a lot of knowledge from past lives. He is very... It just tells me you, you are using a lot of information and guidance from your loved ones and angels and ancestors you might not even be aware of a lot of past life information that you are going to be using and maybe that's what you're going to have a revelation of maybe there's going to be a connection with a past life this week that you're going to be like i've been here before i've done this before you're going to see a tv show where you're going to be like that's really weird i think i know that place or something like that could be happening to you to make you more aware that you're more of a spiritual being than you think you were, than you think you are. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Bless you, Sagittarius.